here's a view of the barn on this very snowy day. You can see on the railing how much snow we've gotten. There's ice under that. But there's the barn and in the trees you can see the snow collected in the branches and that's just beautiful. We'll go out later for some snow fun. There's our barn cat in the snow. She seems to be enjoying it. Not sure what to do. Maybe she's hunting. I don't know. We've let her in our garage to keep her warm at night, but she still likes to get out. And just survey her kingdom. Hey, honey. Oh, she's hunting. Oh my goodness, what is she doing? <laughs> we are in the snow on the farm. We don't get much snow around here. This is our biggest snow since we've lived at this farm. We have about, we think about six or seven inches but it is snow and ice and it's been coming for probably four or five days. This is different for where we live, but we're so excited to share this with you. Um, Kerrigan is sliding down the hill in a laundry basket. So, you know, you just have fun where you are with what you have. Um, we did learn something with our barn. So this is going to be important for when we have our chickens. So there's like pulley and some wheels on the barn door and they froze. So that's going to be extremely important to know when we have our chickens in there because we've got to be able to get in the barn. Um, it also made us think, you know, if this happens again, when we get chickens, we might need to come up with a way for them to be in our basement instead of being in the barn in weather like this. Obviously we can't have chicks out there because they don't have full feathers. So that's why we're waiting until spring to get our chicks. Um, because we want them to have full feathers um, after like the spring, you know, frosts and stuff. So anyway, uh, just kind of updating you some things around the farm. It's going to be really fun. Let me, let me uh, go out here and sled in the laundry basket and see how that goes. little animal prints here where the little kitty cat has kind of tried to find her way through the snow. It's beautiful. It's a blanket of white. I don't know if the video is picking it up, but you can hear the snow lightly hitting the branches. Look at how that snow sits in the tree branches. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Some little animal footprints that have been out in the snow. Y'all, this is just beautiful. We are not used to this much snow here. It's beautiful. And I love the sound, the snow crunch.
<laughs> We're trying all kinds of things to see what works in the sledding department. Laundry basket, boogie board, see what else we got. <laughs> it's anticlimactic, huh? Yep. Here's more of the woods and the snow. You can see how the snow is piled up on the fence posts off into one of the pastures. And then all the snow through the trees. Let's go take a look at the barn in the big pasture. Okay, here's the view to the big pasture and the barn. And you can see the snow on the fence post. And again, it's just settling in those branches. It's just beautiful. The barn cat has come out and is kind of enjoying the snow some. That's honey. We haven't let Loki out. She would probably actually get buried in the snow. She does not come outside. But honey has joined me. Hey, honey, what you got, babe? What you doing? Where you going? See her little fault, her paw prints. Oh, she's found her a uh, scratching post. <laughs> it's just beautiful. So yeah, that barn, we've got to make sure we can get the doors open and still do everything we need to do. Um, in the barn for the chickens and any other animals that we hope to get. We do hope to get goats. Um, so we've got to take this into account, but we nor this is not a normal winter for us, at least not all at one time. So we'll see. Um, but we're learning a lot this winter to prepare us for next winter. So No, it doesn't look, nothing seems to work as good as the laundry basket. Yes, if you guys don't have a laundry basket, <laughs> or if you don't have a sled, get a laundry basket. I can't believe the top of the storage tote didn't work. I thought that would work. So did I. Yeah, it doesn't work very well. One, two, three. <laughs> This is funny. Honey the barn cat is in the track, in our sled track. Should we get her in the sled? We'll see if she'll do it. Gee, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so much fun. Where you going, honey? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You have to investigate what the, what the silly human is doing. What are you doing? <laughs> Good try. But I saw it coming. You're gonna be so cold. <laughs> Are you just hanging out now? <laughs> so cute when she hops. It's like she's hunting. So our barn cat has zeroed in on the fact that our neighbor's dogs are now out. <laughs> what are you doing, honey? All 
first, you make sure that your laundry basket is on the trail. There you go. We have made multiple trails. Then, you stand on either side of the trail so as not to mar the trail, the smoothness of the trail. And you fall into the laundry basket. <laughs> Then you lift your feet and you wait. Woo! And then you have to get out with the help of somebody. You get dumped out. Yes, you get dumped out. Just like that. <laughs> and then you have a snowy laundry basket. 